2023 World No Gi Jiu Jitsu Championships. We got two matches left here, Jake, and they are the Black Belt Absolute Finals. First up, we've got lightweight champion of 2023, Fionn Davis, taking on middleweight champion of 2023, Gabby McComb. That Fionn, lady right there has looked absolutely unstoppable this weekend, Dan. Absolutely. Fionn has three World No Gi titles now. Gabby McComb aiming for her first World Nogi title as a black belt. These two did square off in the absolute division of the 2021 World's Nogi in the open class. Gabby McComb did get a submission victory. But I think it's fair to say that Fionn has evolved tremendously in the past couple years, and this could be an extremely different match. We will see. Fionn had three matches in the Absolute Division yesterday to advance to this final. Had an armbar in her first match, two points victories. And Gabby McComb had a points victory and a decision victory. Excited to watch. Here. Excited to watch this one with Danny. Jake Watson, Danny O'Donnell on commentary right now at the IBJJF World Championship. No gi. We talked about Gabby McComb and Tamar Fahir in the middleweight finals being two of the most aggressive competitors on the scene. Fionn is another one of those competitors who's extremely aggressive, always going forward. So this is going to be another barn burner of a match. It's definitely some palpable intensity out of both of these competitors whenever they step into the ring. Looking for the underhook as Fionn. Saw some nice knee tap takedowns from the underhook this weekend. Fionn maybe trying to take a page out of Kendall Rusing's book from earlier. Kevin McComb looking for an arm drag. Bounds and get reset back in the center. Gabby McComb looking for her first absolute title. Won the middleweight division earlier today. Oh, big head snap down. Fion, now a three time world Nogi champion. This consistent motion that Fion is doing off of the hand grab, where she's throwing her arm underneath and in between. You'll notice she throws her right elbow over the arm of Gabby McComb and turns it into an underhook. She might do it again here. Every time that the hands connect, look for her to do that. a piece we're right back at it Eon sits the guard Good work by Fion trying to keep Gabby off balance Gabby controlling the ankles kicking free Fion sits back up
Six minutes, 15 seconds left to go in this, the women's absolute final. Debbie McComb diving for that front headlock. Look at this, great head control position for Gabby McComb. Trying to step her leg out. Dion turns to her knees. This is a tight bite on the head, Danny. Now oh, Gabby he's... trying to spin to the back. Gabby might have an opportunity for a triangle here. Oh, triangle, here. throws her left leg over the top. She's gonna try to adjust the position and lock it. This is a big opportunity for Gabby McComb. Doesn't have it quite fully locked. Now she's adjusting it inch by inch, trying to get her right foot behind her knee. This is a tough position to get the finish from. She could use this as a leverage point to bring her right elbow and connect her hands together and pry open that left arm. Like you see right there, she looked like she was about to go for it. Yeah, the triangle locked currently on the non-traditional side where you'll normally see the finish. But Jake, why don't, you, why don't you talk a little bit about what some of the attacks are from here if the triangle remains locked like this. So the triangle remaining locked like this, Danny's gonna open up some arm bars over the shoulder that she can crank. She can also use that to open the arm up, correct the hips, and then lock the triangle to the traditional side. But right now, submitting with a straight up choked triangle, you're right, it's gonna be very difficult. You need the leg over that side of the neck so you can apply the proper squeeze. Right here is a great control position. So we'll see if Gabby's able to correct her hips just a little bit and get that right arm snug around the elbow of Fionn Davis and pull that arm out. Okay, now she's to trying to wrap up a Kimura. This is another great attack from this position. Sort of the same idea, prying out that arm. It's a little bit tough to see from our angle. I can't quite see if Fionn's right hand is inside the triangle. Looks like it may be. The elbow's out. Looks like her head is just about to slide out and she escapes and right back on it is Fionn Davis. Amazing defense to the triangle there by Fionn Davis. Well, Danny, four minutes to work and two advantages to Gabby McCombs' name puts her in the lead. One of these ladies are gonna get double gold here today. Will it be Fionn Davis making a comeback or Gabby McComb keeping this lead. Fionn working real hard to get close and jack up one of those underhooks. Yeah, I was just gonna say, it looks like she keeps trying to get an underhook, potentially work that knee tap. I'm sure she has a lot of other options from there in terms of takedowns. Three minutes left in this black belt absolute final. Gabby McComb, the middleweight champion today, leading Fionn Davis by two advantages. Fionn took gold at lightweight. Both athletes will receive a penalty. Oh, oh Fionn, Fionn Davis! Makes the foot sweep happen! Wow, Fionn right on the back! The back. It's that what a quick. transition! That quick with Fionn Four Davis. Four points for the back for Fionn. One small opportunity and Fionn Davis can take a match a different direction. She has the arm trapped on the right side. They're gonna go back to the center. Huge moment there for Fionn Davis. Man, in a match. Really gets the takedown, jumps onto the back. Go ahead, Jake. I was just gonna say that in the middle of a match where it looked like Gabby McComb was doing all the right things, one mistake leads to this situation right here, Danny. Now locks that body triangle.
Fionn looked so dominant in the lightweight final now. Trying to work towards a submission here in this absolute final. Working hard for this choke. Oh, she Fionn connects Davis. her hands. Let's see if Fionn gets the submission. Oh, she gets it, Fionn Davis. Double gold champion here at the 2023 World's No Gi. Absolutely tremendous performance. What an absolutely incredible day, weekend for Fionn Davis. Both of these champions won their respective divisions, and Fionn has just come out here and shown just how dominant she is as a competitor. It doesn't matter the rule set, it doesn't matter the location, she comes to fight. And she's the queen of the IBJJF Nogi Worlds 2023. Fionn Davis, now a four-time World Nogi champion, two gold medals today. What an amazing match with Gabby McComb, who also looked absolutely outstanding this weekend, who won the middleweight division. Having Fionn in several situations that more than dangerous enough to warrant a couple advantages to put her in great positions to maybe even finish the fight in some instances. You see this front headlock turned into the back attack, was able to transition that into this triangle that, yes, it was locked the reverse way, but she was able to almost get the arm secure. And then Fion found one opportunity on the feet to get a foot sweep, Danny, right here. Gets a foot sweep, boom! Lands on top. Right to the, to the back. back. The way she transitioned to the back so fast. Gets the rear naked choke. Wow. That was one of the best finals of the day. Back and forth. Just shows how high the level is of women's BJJ. Let's take a look at the podium. We got our third place medalists in the absolute division. Gabby McComb, who won middleweight gold, took silver in this absolute division. Great to see Gabby McComb back in competition. And Fionn Davis, once again, your double gold absolute champion here at the 2023 World's No Gi. We'll go to a short break, and we'll be right back with our last final of the day.